Hello, hello. Hi ladies. I'm in my group women creating healthy lives. But if you are watching this from outside my Facebook community for women over 40, women creating healthy lives, then come and join us. If you are a woman over 40, of course. <laughs> That's where I do most of my trainings. I post video recipes, recipes, tips, inspiration about living healthy, happy, and the mindset behind it for over 40, going through the midlife change and beyond. That's a lot what we talk about. Um, and what I'm gonna talk about in this video, which is so good, is um, when you don't trust yourself to actually follow through and make the changes. And also maybe when you're scared of what those changes might be. Um, you know, like some people aren't so great at making changes. I <laughs> have been the type of person that's always like, change, I want change, right? But that is not a good thing. So here's, I have been the type of person that's like, I always believe, so the grass is always greener. So if you are a grass is always greener person, you are most likely not scared of change. Because to you, change means good. Change means better than where I am. That is not always the best attitude either. Um, but that's definitely the way I've been in life where I've always been anxious to do something different, anxious to go someplace different, believing truly that what is that I can find something better and that there is always something better. So it serves me in good ways and it's not always the best, but um, I, you know, for me, it's hard to understand women that are scared of change because I've never been that way. Um, but you know, I hear, I hear that's it. And so that's what we're gonna talk about. But what I can relate to completely, 1000%, what I can relate to is not trusting yourself to do the work. Um, now I am very, very good at healthy eating, living, researching, um, learning what I need to do to help balance my body, balance my hormones. My health and wellness is something that I do really well at. We all have our strengths, right? That's my strength, but I can tell you, you guys, I have areas of my life that are not, that aren't that strong, that I have um, self-doubt about, where I've tried over and over again and failed, tried and failed, tried and failed, as I see it. Now I've changed my attitude around that because now I don't think that, you know, as long as I keep working towards what I desire, I don't see anything is a failure anymore. I see it as, oh my God, good for you for not giving up. Good for you for continuing to move forward. Good for you for trying, because that's really what I did when I lost the weight in midlife. I went down to a weight I was in my 20s when I was 48. That's unheard of. I lost almost 20 pounds, probably, right? Um, at a time in my life, <laughs> Sorry about that. Someone called me, which is so weird. It usually doesn't happen. But so when you don't trust yourself, what does that mean? That means that you have tried. So let's say, let's say you've signed up for many programs. You've started many diets. You've tried healthy eating to stay consistent, right? Many, many times before, but you tend to sabotage. You go back to old habits, old behaviors. And then what happens is you're like, when a new program, like my new program is coming up now, you may look at it and go, Oh, I'd love to do that, but I probably wouldn't do it. I'd probably give up. Thanksgiving, for those in the US, is coming. Maybe I'd do really well, then Thanksgiving would come, and then I'd eat a whole bunch of junk, and then I'd blow it, and then I'd go back to old habits. So why would I pay money for a program if I'm not even gonna do it? And this happens for women going to the gym. You know, I used to be a personal trainer, and when I worked, I worked at a gym, uh, a couple gyms, but one was people would say, They'd be like, well, I don't know, because you know, I've tried to join gyms before, I've paid the money and then I never went, right? And so again, there's that not trusting yourself to follow through because you have let yourself down so many times before, you've lost trust in yourself. That's not a good place to be, think about it. If you can't trust yourself, how is that going to play in the rest of your life, truly, right? What happens is you don't believe in yourself anymore. You lose faith in yourself. And to me, some of the, mo the most important thing is to respect yourself, to love yourself, to have faith, and to trust yourself. So when you lose that, what happens is you feel helpless. You feel hopeless. You feel like there's no hope for you. And you may think and say things like, 
well, forget it. There's no hope. I'm never going to lose the weight. I'm never going to be able to stick with it. Um, I'm just not that type of person. So you form the identity of a person who's like helpless and hopeless. And then you wonder why you have no energy, why, you know, why you're feeling down, why you're feeling unmotivated, why you're uninspired. That's why. That's why you're scared to start. That's why you're afraid of making changes because you don't think you're going to stick to them, right? So how do you gain that trust back again? How do you build that faith in yourself again, right? Which is so important, you guys. When you believe in yourself, when you have faith in yourself, when you trust yourself, when you love yourself, when you respect yourself, you will stay with it. You, will, you, will, you won't need to find tons of motivation. Motivation comes from the inside anyways. It only comes from you, not from someone else, right? So this is crucial. To me, I think that the most important thing anybody can work on in their life period is faith trust and love within themselves and belief and in a higher power whatever your faith is because that brings you through any 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 hard time in your life right and if anything happens to you if you have strong faith belief and trust in yourself and strong faith belief and trust in a higher power you will make it through no matter what. When a person loses those things in themselves and a higher power, that's when depression happens. That's when people commit suicide. That's when people feel they're all alone and there's no one who loves them and no one who cares about them, right? That is what so much of society is going through right now, is they've lost belief, faith, and trust in themselves and in a higher power. So let's change that, okay? Um, in all my programs, we work on this because it is absolutely crucial. That is the behind the scenes. That's what we work on on the inside of you. Of course, because that's what makes you stick to healthy and you can have all the recipes, you can have all the recipe books, you can hire someone like me, but if you don't have faith, belief, and trust in yourself, you'll keep sabotaging. You will never stick with it. You may not even start. So if you're somebody who's sitting there and going, oh man, you know, I'd love to take her new program, but I really, Thanksgiving's coming, then it's Christmas, and I know me at these times of years, I go off track, I eat all the stuff, so what's the point of spending money right now or taking time for myself when I know I'm just going to blow it because of Thanksgiving and Christmas? I will just wait until the new year, right? No, what you're saying to yourself is I have no faith in me, I have no trust in myself, and I do not believe in myself. Therefore, I do not love and respect myself. Therefore, what happens? You continue to beat yourself up. You continually to not feel good about yourself, right? Stop this craziness and stop the pattern. That's a pattern. That's um, a way you've chosen to believe because of behavior that's happened in the past. That behavior, you guys, that past does not have to determine your future, okay? Your past behavior does not have to determine your future, so let's end it right now. Do you want to stay in that pattern? No. Let's get you over that, okay? Um, so if anybody's on the fence about my new program, the uh, Recharge program, 21 days, that's starting on Monday. It's 147 for today. Then it goes to 197. Message me if you need to speak to me because you're like, I just don't know. We, will, we can get on the call. I got on a call with a lady last night. If that's what it's going to take for you, I mean, I'm not going to convince you. That's not my job. My job is to provide the information and tools and everything for you to get the results, to feel better, to start eating right. Everything you need and that's required for you to make these changes in your life, that's what I do. You're the one that gets to say yes or no. But I just want you to think, are you stopping yourself because you've lost faith and trust and belief in yourself? And the way to get it back is to buy, is to buy saying yes, is by saying yes to yourself, committing again, taking the steps, never giving up, loving and working on the, the inside, the belief, faith and trust and the love for yourself and that's a process that just takes whatever it takes never stopping to work through those things ending the pattern 
that's what it takes you guys and that's what we do in my programs so reach out to me if you are sitting on the fence if you're really not sure if this really if you're like you know what I really need to do something but you're truly believing this isn't the right time because you don't trust yourself let me know because we want to get you over that it's time for you to move forward stop waiting for circumstances to change stop waiting for you to change if you're not even trying to make change within yourself then the change is never gonna happen <laughs> right so the way the 21 day program works is it's a private Facebook community group I usually do three live trainings in there a week where that on different times so that usually everybody can attend one or two or all three of them and we work through certain things so, so it's totally dependent on who's in the group what they need to work on and work through and this one has a lot to do with the food um, you get all the recipes you get handouts I do uh, some guided meditation audios I'll do video recipes we do like I said whatever whatever you guys are struggling with that week we work on like I do live videos and I help coach you back and forth while we're on these live videos um, and we work through whatever the group is going through I, of course I can have specific topics we talk about decrease in stress I give you easy simple tools and techniques and practices that you begin to do on a consistent basis that don't take that long but have the have a huge effect on decreasing your stress right and you learn how to eat right for this phase of your life and right for you it, you don't have to be vegan you don't have you can eat meat uh, there's no rules in my group as in what you eat except we don't eat gluten we don't do I don't have recipes that include dairy okay but just note that it's um, you can eat meat you can be vegan you can be whatever you choose that is right for you I guide you and help you through this whole process of the 21 days um, and I give you the recipes that are specific to this phase of life and to really help support your hormones help to better balance your hormones and your body decrease inflammation decrease the cravings um, boost your energy and help your body release the weight that's what we deal with all right dianamarchand.com forward slash two one day dash recharge or if you go to dianamarchand.com you'll see it in the menu bar my 21 day program okay and I have lots of YouTube videos um, free trainings on my site already that you can sign up for they're all free and also like I said if you're watching this outside of women creating healthy lives my Facebook community come and join us there it's a free group of over 2700 women I will see you there thank you for watching and reach out to me if you are considering my program okay but have any questions Remember the price is 147 today, but we'll be going up. Okay, much love to you guys.